Hi guys. Uh, today I will talk about custom calendar. Uh, many people asked me how I created a custom calendar. It's very really, very really easy, and uh, I found this code on this site, Flutterflow Community. It's uh, named calendar and custom function. It's uh, it's uh, very good uh, and uh, customizable calendar. You can create any calendar, any uh, any appearance, any design, and etc. And uh, so. Let's talk about main calendar. It's a weekly calendar, and uh, so I have a role. The main thing is role uh, in generating children from variable. I name it this calendar list, and I have a custom function. Uh, this function you can find from this. Uh, I will. It, it will be in the description below so when you will create this custom function then you can get from this and you can pass the, the current time so then uh, I have a column I have a container for uh, when I tap this, this will change the border color. So I have a calendar and I have a border color. So and uh, I have a I have a so when I will tap this. So I have a up page state. It's a start date. I have a Base date is named start date and is where well is calendar list item. It's item from uh, row. So uh, then I have a bar border color when started when calendar list items. Uh, it's a date time format equal to start date it's a page state then give me uh, this color else give me transparent so how it works and uh, this when i tap this this will change border color so it's very very easy so then uh, i have a text it's a uh, uh, it's a calendar list item, custom date, it's a name of week and name of day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I have a, a date, it's a 27, 28, 29, and etc. So and at the last I have a progress bar. Uh, what's this? It's uh, when I click this, this will uh, return me field progress bar. This will change. As you see, it's very very easy. Uh, it uh, so uh, I can show this how I created in the next video. So, uh, let's talk about next calendar. It's a monthly calendar and how it... Uh, so, how it looks. It's very, really uh, customizable, very beautiful and uh, you can see all the uh what dates filled what dates your task is done or pending it's very very easy so i uh, it's called 
from this side too and uh, it is grid view it's grid view i have a uh, children uh, well is a custom function and i have a uh, uh, conditional value uh, you can find this conditional value in this uh, link it will be in the description below video so um, and uh, i have a after grid view <coughs> after grid view i have a column uh, I have a stack, in stack I have a container and text and in the stack the second thing it's a progress bar. It's, uh, it's the same as this progress bar but I have a circle progress bar. So it's very very easy and the uh, icons works perfectly so it's uh, the next state as you see the colors is changing and i have a uh, november dates it's uh, december dates so the december dates it's a uh, uh, gray color so and uh, you can you can make text color uh, with conditional value if uh, if it's a future date, it's a future date. Uh, I have a custom function. I have a custom function. Uh, you also can find this from this link, from this uh, post. So it's very very easy. The main thing it's uh, it's located in the uh, in this website, in this post. It's very very easy. And uh, so you have, a, uh, as you can see, this we have a, a name of dates, colors, etc.